Hi everyone, in honor of Thor Ragnarok's release, today I have some Marvel makeup to share with you guys. Earlier this year, the face shop released a collection with Marvel, and I think I bought most of the items that were offered, so let's take a look at those along with some other Korean beauty products as well. Starting off with the Marvel collection, the first item is the Anti-Darkening Cushion SPF 50 Plus PA++++. I've never tried any of the face shop's cushions before, but I ended up really liking this one. Just like its name, this cushion is meant to brighten up your overall complexion, and because of its formula, it's not very sticky at all. Plus, it's packaged as Captain America's shield, which I think is super cool. So I've used this cushion almost every day since I've received it, and it's definitely up in my top 3. Another popular item from the collection is the Mono Pop Eyes eyeshadow palette, and I got number 2, Strong Red. There's also a blue palette with some cooler tones, but as a warm tone lover, I definitely gravitated towards this one more. When opening up the cover, you're greeted by an Iron Man comic, and underneath that are 9 shades of eyeshadow. For me, this palette is pretty complete, offering everything from the base shades to the crease colors, and it works pretty great for both an everyday look as well as some more dramatic burgundy makeup. Other than the palette, I also picked up a single eyeshadow jelly in RD01 and one of the main reasons I had to get a single eyeshadow was because of Cap's shield on the packaging. I guess the good thing is that the color is not featured in the palette so it's something different. But to be honest, I don't really use red eyeshadow anyway so this will probably be just a decoration. Moving on, I also picked up two ink gel pencil eyeliners in number 1 Black Widow and number 2 Thor Brown. First of all, I took quite a while to appreciate the packaging of each of these products, and even after taking out the product, I kept all the boxes just because they were so nice. This eyeliner came in four colors total, in addition to the black and brown shown here, there's also red for Iron Man and blue for Spider-Man. And I was nicely surprised by how smooth and pigmented these eyeliners are. Next is the 2-in-1 Curling Mascara and I chose number 1 Black Widow. Once again, there are 4 shades featured total. While I have seen mascaras that are double tipped with one on each end, I've never seen anything in this design. There's basically one cap on the mascara but there are two levels. The first one features the big wand which you can use to brush the mascara onto your upper lashes. And then above that, there is the slim wand which you can use to get into the corners of your eyes as well as your bottom lashes. So far, I'm not loving the big wand as much, but I do absolutely love the slim wand. Moving on to lip products, this is the Spider-Man Matte Touch Lipstick in RD05 Iron Red. The Spider-Man design is super cool with the blue webbing on the tube, and there's also a Marvel logo at the top of the cap. When you open the lipstick up, the iron red inside contrasts very nicely with the blue outer packaging. And while I have mixed feelings about matte lipsticks because I have super dry lips, this product actually works pretty well, and I really like the warm color. In my opinion, it's not as dry as the matte lipsticks from 3CE, which I love as well, and overall I was pretty impressed with this one. The other lip product from this collection is the Iron Man Metal Lip Color, and I chose number 3 Ultra Coral. Everything about this product is pretty much the opposite of the Spider-Man lipstick. First off, the tube is very smooth and it's bright red in color just like Iron Man. It's also a little bit longer and I think that's because it has to hold some liquid product inside. And while the previous lipstick was matte in texture, this one is super glossy and sticky. Now moving on to some other products that I ordered along with the Marvel collection. First are two items from Opu's No Dirty line. The first one is a puff cleanser that you can spray onto whatever makeup puff you're using. I usually use a soap bar to clean my beauty blender, but this one makes it a lot easier. And the second one is the brush cleansing soap. This one includes a little rubber pad inside that you can swirl around your brushes on, so it acts as a soap bar as well as a cleansing mat all in one. The one skincare product from this order is the Etude House AC Cleanup Pink Powder Spot. You can use a Q-tip to dip inside and then apply it to your pimple. And so far it hasn't really worked for me, but I will definitely keep trying. Next is the Maman 2-Step Perfect Eyebrow in number 3 Natural Brown. Step 1 is to use the screw brush as a brow color over your brows. And step 2 is to use the tip at the end to fill in any spots that you've missed. A few months ago, Etude House also released these really cute Dear Darling Water Gel Tints and I picked up two colors here. One is the orange version and the other is watermelon. These are super fun to use and really moisturizing too, but they just aren't as pigmented, which I'm pretty okay with. And lastly are two super cute hand creams from Tony Moly's collaboration with Pokemon. And I chose Pikachu Vanilla and Jigglypuff Peach. 
And that's all for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you all next time. Annyeong!